My questions to the Prime Minister. Before the election, this Prime Minister misled Australians when he said that families will be better off under a Labor government. Since Labor was elected, interest rates have gone up eight times and mortgage repayments have increased by $1,400 for a typical family. Order. To make it worse, the Albanese government's economic policies are fuelling inflation and driving interest rates higher. Prime Minister, why do Australian families always pay more under Labor? Order. Give the call. Member for Deakin, the Prime Minister will be heard in silence, and I give him the call. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Well, Australians are certainly paying the price for a decade of liberal and national neglect. That's what's going on here. Paying a price for delay, denial, waste, and rorts. We have been impacted by international circumstances arising from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. But because of the decade of neglect, we didn't have the preparation that we needed. We were more vulnerable than we would have been. Because those opposite, those opposite left us the with one of the trillion dollars of debt with not enough to show for it. The those opposite Broome. left us with skill shortages, including including in areas where they told everyone to leave the country and refused to provide them with any financial support whatsoever. Those opposite left us with a decade of stagnant wages, not because of bad luck, but because of bad policy. They said Order. that low wages was a key design feature of their economic architecture. And those opposite Order. who spent the Abbott years and then, of course, uh, apparently might be coming back in the Senate. Might be coming back. There, there, there's a sign of in touch with the future for you. They spent those years saying no to the everything. Leader of the Nationals. And then they got into government and just kept saying no because they didn't have any positive plans, even when they're in government. And now they're just saying no to everything again. No to the National Reconstruction Fund which is about supply chains, which is about jobs, which is about Australian manufacturing, which is about Australian resilience, which is about leaving us less vulnerable to international shocks. And what do they say, those opposite? They say, no, no, we're against that. We're against that. We're against that because it will Order. have an independent board and won't rot the funding. So it's something they don't recognise. Something they don't recognise. No to secure jobs, no to Australian manufacturing, no to new industries. Defining themselves once again, not by what they're for, but only by what they're against.